From your hyperlocal weather source, this is your Norcast Weather Update. Brought to you by Storybook Land and EHT. Enter a world of wonder and whimsy and create everlasting memories for your family. Over 15 rides and dozens of themed attractions. For tickets, hours, and more info, visit storybookland.com. Hi everybody, meteorologist Brittany Trumpy here. With all the clouds overhead today, we had to really fight to get out of the 40s and into the 50s this afternoon. So we did end up a little bit below average. Again, normally we're still in the upper 50s, but we stayed on the cooler side. Even overnight last night, we had a downright cold night out there with those temperatures staying in the 20s. Tonight will be more seasonable. The clouds overhead will help to keep us with those temperatures in the low 40s and upper 30s. The reason for the extra clouds, that was this low pressure system. It's gonna continue to track a little bit further down to the south kind of throughout the overnight hours and into tomorrow eventually it'll take all of the clouds with it it was potentially going to give us a couple of showers for overnight tonight but it doesn't really look all that promising then we have this nice high pressure moving in for the weekend so some more sunshine and very dry conditions are on the way for kind of saturday sunday and even into the start of next week maybe a couple more scattered showers later on down the road tonight though staying cloudy and like i said fairly mild low 40s upper 30s one or two quick little sprinkles but most spots will be staying dry tomorrow we start off with some stubborn clouds but as we head through the afternoon we'll be seeing some more sunshine out there temperatures will be back up into the upper 50s so very very seasonable a little less on the chilly side then after that we're sort of off to the races we're gonna see those temperatures continue to pick up into the weekend and the start of next week will be in the low to mid 60s that's above average but 60 degree temperatures it's still comfortable it's still really refreshing and we'll feel pretty cool out there and then and even beyond that, 6 to 10 day, we're looking at more above average temperatures. But look out to the west. There is a pocket of cooler air is slowly working its way towards the central U.S. and that could mean some cooler air on the way as we look forward to maybe end of November or even early December. Looking at our current drought conditions, unfortunately things have gotten worse. We now have uh, an extended uh, area of extreme drought that stretches all the way down into Cape May and uh, Cumberland, portions of Salem County as well. Uh, so unfortunately things are getting a little bit worse as far as the drought is concerned. We need multiple rounds of really significant rain to kind of pull things back and get back on track. And we just don't see that. We do see a change in the pattern a little bit. As you can see, there's an opportunity for some quick little showers on Monday. And then I think Wednesday, Thursday, we're gonna see another round of kind of decent rain. Okay, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your evening. I'll check back in with you later on tonight with your bedtime forecast.